So who is this him that you gonna paint? I'm just gonna paint a man. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna paint your husband. Oh, Brandon. Mm -hmm. You can paint him. You remember what he looked like? Mm-hmm. You do? Yes, ma'am. I know what he looks like. So if I see him on the street, I'm hey! Hey! <laughs> Okay. Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of go over and talk about how it is living with my granny that has dementia. Well, she lives with us, um, but I just kind of wanted to go over some things and just kind of talk about how it is, what it's like, how to try to, you know, how we try to help her and everything and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and get right on into it. So... Um, so I believe that, um, when she first got diagnosed with dementia, um, she was at a point to where, um, she missed her sleep study. And I believe that's kind of how, like, they go in and see, like, what's going on with certain people and whatnot. But my granny is very stubborn and she didn't want to do it. So, um, she you know she just developed this over time so i think that she might have started to develop this over time because of my grandfather passing away um but i'm not you know i'm not too sure that's just kind of how i feel and how i see it because then she was you know leaving, living with him and then now you know she's you know he's gone so she was no longer you know living with him um so she was living by herself for a while and uh, you know, she used to be able to drive and take care of herself. Then she had, I remember she got into an accident. You know, she can't really see like that when she drives. And um, what else? Then she kind of got to a point to where like we had to bring food to her like every day. And she stayed like, um, I don't know. She, she, she stayed a little ways from us. Not too far, but um she she definitely stayed in a whole different city from us so it was kind of a lot sometimes to try to like go bring her food every day and then try to like meal prep but she's very picky so she, you know she don't want certain things um she, you know she don't want them she gonna eat it so um that's how it was like in the beginning then she kind of started to forget about her keys you know locking her doors and things of that nature and that was just a red flag to us just you know a major concern and so we started to let her not let her but we started to invite her down to come and stay you know the weekend with us at the time the guest bedroom was not like completely set up i think the I think it was like a like a maybe like a family room I guess you could say we just go in there and watch TV and stuff um so we had like you know couches and stuff in there so I guess you could say it's a den which I guess it is a den but it's a bedroom so I don't know but um you know she would come down and spend the weekend with us and that was good and um it was one point in time I wasn't there at the moment I think I might have been at my dad's house but she came over one time and like that weekend whatever went on that weekend with my mom just seeing kind of how she was my mom was like okay yeah like I don't feel comfortable with her going back home like this so she needs to stay because she's not able to you know she's not able to take care of herself and she's just not right you like she's not her normal self who she was before dementia so um, I told my mom, I said, well, I don't care. Like, I'm cool with it, whatever. So she stayed in my room for a while, and I stayed in the other room. And I have scoliosis, so my back was just hurting. And I want to say excuse any background loud noise that y'all might hear. Um, we've got Rupert, roof, roofers here doing some work on the house. So if y'all hear anything loud, that's them. But, um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, my back started to hurt after a while, and I'm like, okay, we need to go ahead and get her, her room set up and whatever, because I need to get back in my bed. So, um, so yeah, so once everything got settled and she was here officially, um, things were okay, but as time goes on, like, 
you know, obviously, like, she gets worse as time goes on, but it's not, like, extremely bad or anything, but, um, it got to a point to where, like, with school, for me personally, at the time, like, I'm, you know, COVID wasn't a thing, and I was still going to class, and I ended up being, like, to where I was on time to my classes, to where, like, I'm late, to, like, my first classes, sometimes second classes, if I miss my whole first period, well, not period, I guess you could say, because it's not high school, but uh, my first class that I had in college at school, so, because, uh, you know, I can't, I couldn't leave with her just needing help, you know, I had, you know, I made sure I always help her and take care of her before I head out to make sure she's good, because my mom worked full-time, and I'm trying to be a full-time student and work, <laughs> so, you know, so school went from went from being on time to not being on time and which is okay um because it's you know it's my grandmother it's my granny so but um she's had moments to where like she don't remember where she is uh she thought my room was her room for the longest and um she has moments where she cries um she feels like nobody loves her and whatever she's here by herself and stuff and so um me personally i'll just try to like comfort her and i talk to her and that's what me and my mom do we just let her know like we're here like you're not here by yourself or going through like all of this by yourself like we're here with you we love you we're taking care of you but she's very like stubborn and like hard-headed so um I don't know that's just her as a person so like whatever we tell her sometimes she's gonna listen and sometimes she just she just set on how she feel or set on what she thinking <laughs> so we could tell her that all day long and she's still going no nobody loves me or you know whatever so it's it's just like hey okay but um she does have aggressive moments as well with her like trying to fight um that's just her as a person um because she's always been kind of raw raw i guess you could say um but it's just it's just it's just how it is like now like i don't know but um yeah she she has moments when she wants to curse at us and call us all out of our names and fight us so i done been scratched up my mama done been scratched up she tries to bite and whatever and those moments is just like so crazy because it's like oh my gosh like and she'll she'll start stuff or whatever and i don't know sometimes she'd be over dramatic about certain situations and um it just escalates because of how she feels so you know i hate those moments um but I feel like sometimes, like, in this house, because I know how my mama is, too. Like, I got to, like, step up me, like, not the parent, but, like, really come in, like, calm situations down. Um, it's been times, like, I'm I'm going for the whole weekend, and then I come back home, and then I see her, and I, I say, hey, granny, she don't even say, hey, that she, let me tell you what this B done did. Let me tell you what this witch done did. I'm ready to go. Mm. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty stressful. It's pretty stressful. It's very stressful, honestly. Um, me personally, I feel like I haven't been able to be the same student that I was before. But I mean, it's okay. Because um, I'm still trying, still giving effort in classes and, you know, doing what I can do. So it's okay. But um, things are just definitely different. Um and I'm trying to, I'm currently trying to get her to understand that I won't always be here because she likes when I, she has to get eye drops done every morning and every night. And she likes when I do them because I have more patience than my mom. But I'm trying to explain to her, like, I'm not going to always be here. And then with, with my fiance going into the military or in the military now or whatever, like, once he get done with basic and done with his schooling, 
and I go out there with him, like, I'm not going to be here. I'm being a whole nother state or whatever. I can't always do her eye drops and whatever. I'm trying to get her to understand that I'm not going to always be here. So, like, you got to work stuff out, you know. But things I try to do to help, really, I, I honestly don't know what I can do. We used to do puzzles when I was younger. She don't do puzzles. She throw them away. Um, she throws a lot of her clothes away too, like clothes, shoes, because she thinks that it's not hers. And I'm like, no, this is yours. Like, don't throw this stuff away. But, um, yeah, try to, I don't know, just try to do things. And I let her sit outside. She likes to be outside and soak up the sun and whatever. So I'm not sure. But I've been trying to find some things to do to help her with her brain and her her thinking and you know get her juices flowing so as you can see this is why i decided to paint um i asked her hey you want to paint she's like yeah she wants to paint so i'm like okay well you know that's cool so here we are painting um which she didn't do much but she did something and, and i'm okay with that that's good so but um it's a center here that she can go to is like two centers the elder center she can go to to go and do activities and stuff um i think one of them specialized in dementia patient so that's great because she she could wander off and whatever and i don't want any of those situations so but so far you know things have been okay so i'm just glad that she's here with us and still living and you know we're here to take care of her and everything so um yeah so but that's pretty much like everything i have to say on that topic or that subject if anybody is going through the same thing and has advice please let me know but thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe